Good ploughing is an art for which all farmers can take pride. Since the dawn of agriculture, the plough has arguably been the most significant and familiar of all farming implements. Its simple design, representing an enormous advancement in the development of agriculture, greatly improving man's ability to feed himself from the land. Ploughing helps to create an almost perfect seedbed into which the new crops can be sown, aerating the ground and helping to drain excess water from overly wet fields. It is vital for the fertility of the land, not only exposing fresh, nutrient-rich soil, but burying old crops and weeds so they can begin to break down, creating the optimum ground conditions with minimum cultivation. Farmers throughout the ages have understood that good ploughing means good farming and that the success of next year's crop often relies on the quality of this year's ploughing. One man who understood the importance of this better than most was a farmer's son from County Down, Harry Ferguson. Ferguson realised that the ploughs of the time were outdated and inefficient. Their design and use had hardly changed over thousands of years. Of course, there had been very little room for improvement while oxen and horse had been providing the power. But with the increased mechanisation of agriculture, it soon became clear to him that a new way of thinking was needed. Our first film is an introduction to the art of good ploughing, featuring the fantastic Little Grey Fergie. With this revolutionary tractor and its innovative three-point hitch carrying a Ferguson plough, the farmer could cultivate his lands more effectively, improving the quality and efficiency of his ploughing. In order to ensure farmers were fully aware of the benefits of using a TE20 and Ferguson plough, the company made this film, which explains the various parts of the plough and their function, as well as providing instructions on their settings, adjustments and maintenance, all of which contribute to a well-ploughed field. Although mastering the art of ploughing can take many years of practice, as you will see in this film, even a novice can become an accomplished ploughman if he first understands the basics of good ploughmanship. Beginning with The Plough, Part 1. Now a few common steering faults. The first one is a right-hand bend at the beginning of the furrow, due to failure to line up the tractor properly with the furrows. When the tractor enters the furrow, the plough tends to swing to the right, so narrowing the front furrow. The tendency can be overcome by steering the tractor well to the left, keeping all wheels up on the land, allowing the right-hand wheels to slide into the furrow after the plough has entered. Nine, at the other end of the furrow, a bend can be started all too easily by turning the tractor before the plough is lifted. Correct the fault by steering away from the furrow wall for the full length of the feet. turning gradually against the bend until the front wheel is hard up against the furrow wall. It may be necessary to do this several times. In bad cases, correct by backing along the furrow and making a short run. Ten. When there is a bend in the middle of the furrow, it can be straightened out in a similar manner. Steering away from the furrow wall if the bend is to the left, and towards it if the bend is to the right. Notice how the plough swings to the right when the tractor is steered that way, indicated by the fact that only one furrow is being turned. 